looking at is a burger environment where we put out a real high amount of effluent. Um, you can see on top of the roof where we've got not enough absorption per square inch underneath the exhaust fan, which is something we talk about a lot. Basically what will happen is if we don't have a box capacity big enough and an oil absorbent inside of it to encapsulate all the oils, what you're going to get is overflowing. We've had some rain here over the last few days. You can see down here where we've got oil and water mixing up. One other thing we're going to talk about too is the way to clean up heavy liquid environments like this using the oil absorbent. Uh, that separates oil and water, but you're going to see how we can soak up everything at one time and the after effect of what we look for for the end result to dry all this oil up in this roof. Today is perfect for this. It's about 85 degrees. You can see the grease is nice and thin. One thing that's going to happen is too, with the grease being very thin like this, is a lot of guys will ask us, do we go in and just put down our oil absorbent and try and pick up everything at one shot where it's literally like ladling stuff off the roof. This kind of makes it hard to pick it up. So what we're going to do is talk about the best way to pick this stuff up. Okay, we're going to start off by doing our cleanup. We'll kind of take a feel of the grease to see what it's like or the oil on the rooftop. Is it something that we can rake back, pick up, put it in a box or a five gallon bucket? Or is it thin enough talked about a second ago, where this stuff's so thin that it's going to take us all day to pick it up. So here's what we're going to do. On our tools, we find that using just a flexible putty knife works the best. What we always talk about when we're cleaning up roofs is try not to get to where you're digging into the roof. A lot of times when we're raking things up, we'll let that blade flex a little bit, but we'll just kind of pull back. We don't want to ever take and get into the bed of the roof. Now this is going to be an all-day cleanup and we're not careful, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our oil absorbent. It's a little bit drifty in the wind today. Oil absorbent is pretty fine. You can see it's going to fly away, so if you come out and you're just kind of casting this stuff onto the roof, you're wasting a lot of product. Now what I like to do is, instead of me jumping in the middle of the swimming pool and getting grease all over me, I'll start from the outer edge of the spill what I'm going to do is going to work my way inside here. By keeping the oil absorbent on the roof and kind of dragging it out of the bag, I can start working this stuff into the roof. And the key is going to be is to agitate this oil absorbent down inside to the roof. If you just dust it out there, you're not going to get a good bite. You're not going to get a good result on the next time you come out after you wait your cycle of 90 days, for example. So we'll put down this oil absorbent real quick. What I wanted to show you here is when this oil absorbent gets enriched, you'll see it start turning colors and it'll store, start turning it more into a solid. Now, a lot of times when we're doing these, particularly when there's a lot more liquid, again, we'll kind of rake back. These roofs get warm and hot. We'll kind of set this back off for our trash pile. The end result that we're looking for when we get done is we're going to leave a fine layer of of absorbent, about an eighth of an inch thick, in this area when we get done, that would be considered done. I'm just continuing to work myself across, and you'll notice on these thin areas, I'm just dragging product across, covering the spill just kind of leaving a little bit behind. Now once I start getting in here, I always like to wear knee pads. One, these roofs get really hot too. You're just going to get stuff all over you. But now I can start working my way across this stain without just getting to a point where I'm uh, covered in oil. Back over. Again, you see, I'm just going to continue drawing that excess material across the roof. We're going to try and catch some of this stuff. You got a little spill out, oil and water. What we're going to do 
I want to show you the difference in this stuff. The way it'll kind of leach that stuff out of the water. If we were just to pull this back, I'm going to force it to kind of take in some of this other. What's cool is, is if you watch this feed, you'll, these are, this stuff is famous for like the Valdez oil spills and stuff. What it'll do is it'll pick up, try and skim out the, the chunkies here. What's cool about that is it's encapsulated inside that oil absorbent and it'll clean that water for you. So that's one thing that makes our product unique. That oil just gets trapped right underneath here, just annihilates that roof membrane. We're gonna go ahead and put the oil absorbent down underneath this and dry all this stuff out too. Alright, so we finished applying our oil absorbent. We've scraped up whatever grease the uh, roof would give up without getting into the bed of it or pushing into the membrane. We've left about an eighth inch uh, oil absorbent across the whole surface. Now generally, like for the oil absorbent cleanup, this one we used about three pounds of oil absorbent. You can see that's a pretty substantial stain. Whenever we have leftover bags from pillows and things like that, or trash bags on hand, it's always a good idea whenever you're moving things off of the roof, we're gonna dispose of this old grease containment system, get rid of it, so try and bag it up. There's no use to make any more messes than you need to. All right, so we did a, uh absorbent application on this unit about six weeks ago. Since then, we have gotten, gosh, probably four or five rains. I'd say we've probably gotten uh, 10 inches of rain, kind of unseasonable for this time of the year. See, the whole stain that we uh, had treated with the oil absorbent is just dried completely out. So we just kind of look in on the surface just a little bit. What I tell people is, you kind of see once it's dried, that roof will just dehydrate. It was an excellent cleanup. It took us uh, probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so to get this one done last time. We installed a uh, high capacity system, one of our newer systems that are coming out, one of our Supreme boxes. Performed really well. underneath that's good and dry so really pleased with the overall uh, performance of that again if you're a little bit patient because we did a really good job applying the orbital absorbent and using that scraper to pick up all the loose debris off the roof and then we agitated it in the oral absorbent actually into the roof that's going to be the key to getting this kind of a result but this was heavy heavy volume grease you can see the other part of the video so <laughs>